Hello fellow mentions, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to talk about um, episode 2 of The Bad Bats, which is called Ruins of War. And this episode takes place right after, like as soon as the like, uh, first episode, Spoils of War, ended, Ruins of War picks up right after. Um, so, Team 1, being Wrecker... Not Wrecker, sorry. Um, crap, why am I forgetting? Team 2 was Wrecker and um, Hunter. Team 1 is Echo, um, Tech, and Omega. And I'm going to refer to those two. I'm going to be referring to uh, Team 1 as Hunter. Not Hunter. Omega, um, Tech, and Echo. And Team 2, Hunter, and... Um, Striker, or Hunter, and, um, I don't know why I'm having a brave of these close names, but you guys get the picture, and you guys are smart people, you guys know what I'm trying to get at. Just so I won't uh, have to, like, uh, busy say each clone's names in both teams. So, um, Team 1, uh, managed to land safely, but, um, um, the, uh, uh, not Wrecker. You know you have an epic brain for it when you have to go to Google to help you, uh, get through the brain for it. But it was, uh, Tech who got injured. And so, Tech, uh, e um, Tech, Echo, and Omega tries to find Soldier. And there's this old man that, um, they find. They don't trust at First, but they end up taking um Tech to his house, so Tech can properly heal. And um, in this time, like um, I believe it was Hunter, not Hunter, sorry, Tech who orders Omega to look at to watch over the old man. I see what's showing some. Work around his house. And the old man, he, um, he's a survivor. He's n not a huge fan of Count Dooku because, like, Count Dooku, as Count Dooku was getting rich, it hindered everything that happened on the planet of Zeretto. I think that's what the planet's called. And, um,. Essentially, um, Omega tries to, uh, get the loot that they left behind in the crash. Because she's trying to prove herself. So she can have, like, um, give the Bad Bats a normal life. Because she heard what Echo said in the last episode about if they didn't rescue Omega, they probably would have a better life. And while this is going on, Hunter and Wrecker are essentially trying to find, like, Rise to get to their teammates better. And, um... They have a firefight with... The clone slash stormtroopers. I don't know what... The clone troopers and stormtrooper outfits. I don't know, like, the proper terminology for... These troopers. At this point, because... I want to say clone troopers, but I know that... The clone troopers are facing out to be stormtroopers, so I'm... Not sure what's the proper... Term to you call them. So if you guys can help me, let me know in the chat, because I want to know these proper terminology. Uh, want to use these terminology properly, if that makes sense. But I know the uh, commander of these, if they are called stormtroopers, or uh, led by a clone trooper, because they're still getting, like, um, phased out. Um, and, um, initially, Team 1, Team 2, Rick... Um, reunites. Um, Omega, pretty much Omega tries to get the treasure before they reunite, but, um, it was, uh, Echo who says, Omega leave is not as important. And as soon as we see, like, the Bad Bats get back to their ship, we have this hard heart moment with Echo and, um, Omega, where Omega says, I heard what you said about, uh, 
If you guys didn't come after me, or come to rescue me, your life would be better. And Echo said, I would do that all over again, because that was the right choice. And the argument, that, the reason why I own Echo's whole argument to Hunter in the first episode about the statement that Omega took, heard, and took out of context was Hunter was trying to is trying to be like the father figure to um Omega and be overprotective. But Echo says was saying how they rescued Omega and even though like yeah they probably will have like easier lives if they didn't have rescue her, it was the right choice. And they need to stop like trying to run away from the Empire and build out like a mini army and um fight. Which it's a good statement to say, and it's one that's probably gets the bad bats with the exception of um, Omega killed. Uh, like, because I don't think, with the exception of um, Omega, that the bad bats will survive past the show. I could be wrong, and I'm including um, Crosshair in this, even though right now he's working for the Empire. I'm including Crosshair over this. And then towards the end of the episode, we get um, one of the Imperial, uh, Imperial commanders telling a clone trooper, yeah, I want you to rewrite your report and leave the Bad Bats outfit and this clone trooper saying, I'm not going to falsify a report. And then this is, uh, the Imperial officer said, fine, I'll do it then. And then he shoots the clone trooper. And I was like, wow, damn. Okay. Um... And based from the trailers, there may be, like, I'm guessing there will be a clone trooper uprising. Because from the trailer, it looks like there are clone troopers that are questioning the Empire. And one of them was Cody, which, minor spoiler. I say minor because, um, it was a part of the trailer. Um, and you could tell that this clone was questioning the Empire. And I really like. I feel like this kind of sets hope sets up the uh, hell sets up for us fans that there may be that clone trooper uprising or clone uprising. And who knows? Maybe that's why there's like f so few clones by the time um, Robles comes has come to flourishing. Because when clone, when Rebels comes to, like, be, like, in the timeline, as far as I'm aware, there's only three clones. Um, Commander, uh, Rex, I believe one of them's called Wolf, and the other one's Gregor, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But those three clones are the only clones I, I'm aware of that... By the time Rebels comes around and the original trilogy comes around, are the last of the clone troopers. There could be more, but like I said, that's the as far as I'm aware, they're the last of the clone troopers. And um, I'm really, I'm like, I really enjoy this, ep like these two episodes that came out, Spoils of War and Ruins of War. They were both premieres. Um, both were. Intriguing and exciting, and um, I am looking forward to episode three. Um, episode three will be a uh, um, a pretty awesome f um watch. I feel like um, I know like um, some people are like doesn't watch Star Wars because of some of the uh, things Lucasfilm has done over the uh, past few years. So that's understandable, but I enjoy Bad Batch. This kind of feels like a, um... This kind of does feel like little Clone Wars 2.0 a bit without them being actually in the Clone Wars, but I enjoy the show. I I think the show is solid so far. So far. Um... I'm interested to see where uh, the uh, Bad Bats will go in episode 3. But um, let me know what you guys th thought of Ruins of War in the comment section down below. 
Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And I will talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.